ERU is, uh, that's an acronym for equine recurrent uveitis, which is also known as moon blindness or periodic ophthalmia. It's a chronic condition in horses, and essentially what happens is there's inflammation inside the eye that is damaging to all the tissues that allow sight. The ultimate outcome is, is usually blindness. ERU is the most common cause of blindness in horses worldwide. We're honestly desperate for alternative treatments for uveitis because it is so devastating. One of the causes of equine recurrent uveitis is that we have these excessive immune responses that are not controlled. In autoimmune diseases, the, um, the immune system gets a little confused. Um, usually, its goal is to eliminate things like coronaviruses, but in this case, the, uh, the immune system actually begins to attack our own self tissues. With a equine recurrent uveitis, that means it keeps coming back because the immune system keeps figuring out better and better ways to destroy the eye. Joe and I have been working together for a couple of years now, and uh, I first met him because he had talked to our patent office about getting this peptide that he had, had developed and worked with patented. The SOX peptide basically turns off the faucet. So if you imagine our immune responses to be turning a faucet on in your house, um, in the case of autoimmunity, the faucet just keeps running, right? So we think our, our peptide will turn off the faucet. And the patent officer said, you should go talk to Plummer at VetMed because this sounds like something that uh, she could utilize in her equine patients. So it actually was the Office of Technology and Licensing that set us up on kind of a blind date, if you will. The first time I met um, Dr. Flummer, she did not believe that anything was going to work. It was completely clear. I'm a natural born skeptic, so I was hopeful, but I had a, a list of things that Joe had to check off to convince me that this would be something that would be viable in a, in a large animal model. So we, we set up a pilot trial with um, several horses that, were, that had bilateral disease. Horses would initially go into the, uh, the veterinary hospital and she would, she would personally administer the treatment. We looked at both using it intraocularly, so we injected some, uh, but mostly, and our goal is for this to be administered as an eye drop or as an ointment. The first time that, that Karen allowed a horse to go home, I knew that we're on the right track. All of our patients, in the absence of traditional therapy, showed improvement, which is not something that uh, I expected. It's something that I'm honestly very excited about. The Grace and Jockey Club, Club grant is uh, its a real boon to our research. This funding will allow us to take our pilot study and um, draw on that and take the next steps in terms of optimizing the dosage. Um, but also mechanistically figuring out how the peptide actually does the effects that we're seeing clinically. We would love to run a multi-center trial with our drug, um, with horses coming into the clinic, being treated, you know, where the, the idea, you know, a, a drop a day keeps the uveitis away. I know that's corny. The ultimate goal in my world will be to be able to offer my patients a better, more effective treatment with fewer side effects. The collaboration has bigger goals beyond that. This is a very real problem in horses. This is also a very real problem in people. So it's, a, it's a, gonna be a dual benefit so we can help the horses and also take that data and also help people. So there's, there's a lot of good that can come from a, a better treatment for uveitis. Thank you.